Well, many of you have gotten your coronavirus vaccine or at least one shot and a vaccination card to prove it. Will it be important to prove your vaccination status here in the future? News Channel 3's Danny Romero has more on that question and why some say it's important to hang on to that card. Uh, it's pretty thick, thicker than a Probably about as thick as a business card. What Caroline Montablo is talking about, of course, is her COVID vaccination card. It was given to her after she was vaccinated. Uh, I'm probably just going to put it in my wallet, have it available. But for John Olson, he has bigger plans. I think we should frame them, don't you think? Some people are thinking about preserving vaccination cards by laminating them. But should you? Put the original in a, in a safe place, but take a picture of this and maybe laminate that picture. Cut it, but not, let's save the original in case anybody... There's a question about it. What if later on you need a booster shot and you already laminated your card? If you do laminate your card and yet later there's a booster shot or some other similar vaccine that, that would be given, you would have to download a new card off the state website. What you shouldn't do is post a picture of your card on social media. Show your sticker that you've been vaccinated, but do not post that. Because that, so many of those cards have personal information. It might have your birthday, the lot number. We don't want anyone of stealing your information, impersonating you. Their speculation proof of your vaccination could be needed to travel or to go to a concert in the future, but you don't need to be carrying that card with you now. Take a picture of both the front and the back of it so you always have the card available. The card may be able to be used in many ways. Danny Romero, News Channel 3. Now, if you've misplaced or lost your vaccination card and want to request another one, we have a link to do that on our website, KESQ.com.